city Dublin the town I love so dear but we're after winning two million quid so we're up to Belvedere yes it's goodbye to good old Arthur J and it's bold your defiant Chablis I am leaving my heart at the Haveney Bridge now it's Belvedere for me Hello, John. <laughs> it's for you. Oh. Anthony, how lovely. Oh, wonderful fragrance. Vegetable casserole. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Anthony. It's actually ratatouille. Oh, do you know, I am ravenous. It's so good to be home. Do you know, I don't need a briefcase anymore, Pamela. I need a wheelbarrow. <laughs> uh, really? Thank you, darling. Mm. Brussels have been at it again. Pardon? Yes, the Eurocrats. They simply can't keep their noses out of men's socks. Sounds dreadful. Yes. Mm. Oh, oh, no, oh. <laughs> no, this is absolutely delicious. What is it? Dara Masalata. Mm, we have to start labelling left and right. Mm. <laughs> you know, I don't think we've ever had this before. Yes, well, it's Toby's favourite. Marinated cod's row. <laughs> <laughs> so we're expecting a guest. You'd forgotten. I had? Emma is taking an evening class. And Toby's calling over. For supper. Cod's row followed by cod's wallop. Antony. <laughs> Do you know... I am not hungry anymore. I don't need Weight Watchers since I've got Toby. I wonder what's keeping him. What's keeping him? Send out a signal. Go to the front door and pop a cork. Anthony, don't be ridiculous. Anyway, I must fly around this, huh? Oh. Tara, Molly's baby. It's her bedtime, do you know? I think she's beginning to recognise me. Hardly surprising. She sees more of you than I do. I've decided she deserves a sister. What? <laughs> Yeah. Anthony, they are breeding like rabbits in there as it is. Those twins are absolutely dreadful. Do you know, the other morning, they stuck their tongues out at Toby, one after the other. I'll mention it to Molly. She'll have them out by the roots. Anthony? Yeah? Anthony, what about the ratatouille? Give them my regards. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hiya, Willie. The usual. Yeah, Colonel Bailey. Dolores. How are you, Willie? Oops. Bad luck. <laughs> you know, it's strange only having one of the brothers killed at the bar. It's like having Barney Rubble without Fred Flintstone. <laughs> How is Eddie? Is there any news? He's coming on. God love Molly. Coping without a man. Yeah. She's managed up to now. She's <laughs> got me. Sure, that's not the same thing. Is there nothing I can do, Willie? No, bad luck. Thanks. Will you tell Molly? That Berla says, if she needs me, just whistle. <laughs> well, you do know how to whistle, don't you? Just put those lips of yours together and blow. <laughs> Is Molly okay? No, she's a bit touchy. Bad tempered. Narky. Cranky. All them. <laughs> That's not like Molly. How long has she been like that? All bleeding weak. <laughs> PND. Mm. Huh? Postnatal depression. It's the nerves. It affects some women after they've had a baby. They're moody all the time. Can't look at them sideways. Gotcha. Pamela <laughs> Moriarty. She has no baby, remember? Must be something else wrong with Holden. You say nothing about Molly now. My lips are sealed. This is our secret, Willie. I don't know what's wrong with her. It's little Tara keeping her awake at night. Nah, she just eats and sleeps. Molly said she's a dead ringer for me. <laughs> some start to life. No wonder she's depressed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was only a joke. Sure, she's drop-dead gorgeous. Like her Uncle Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Here, go. 
gorgeous. Why don't you babysit and let Molly out for an evening? Because I'm no good at that, you know, changing them. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Willie Kelly. You can do it with your eyes closed. Molly would really enjoy a night out. Yeah. She'd really appreciate it. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> would ya? Right. She'll be here tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Good night, Willie. <laughs> Willie! That meal, Pamela Moriarty. <laughs> With a symphony of taste. Oh, more wine. Well, I shouldn't. I'm feeling a slight pang. <laughs> it's just a... Conscience. I hope we've left enough for Anthony. Oh, he only has himself to blame. Well, it must be very important to keep him from your ratatouille. Yes, well, Anthony had to rush off to meet a VIP. Well, who could be that important? Try Tara. He's next door, been there since seven. Did he know I was coming to supper? Yes, Toby, he has known for days. I hope she's sick of him. Well, you'd want to be careful, Pam, allowing a baby to mark out its territory. You have a little rival. Oh, Tom, don't be silly. Allow me to initiate you into the ways of men. Well, Toby, do you really think we should? Do you trust me, Pamela? You share your bed with a naked ape. <laughs> Don't be so ridiculous, Toby. Anthony always wears his pyjamas. A wild beast, Pamela. Now, that is going too far. He is a gentle, sensitive man. Plumb a man's depths, and you will glimpse his primitive ways. Well, Toby, I'm not sure that I want to. Anthony is a hunter-gatherer. No, Toby, he is a sock manufacturer. He spends his day prowling the jungle of life. Surviving by instinct, stalking his prey. Anthony doesn't have instincts. The velvet is falling from his antlers. Pamela, <laughs> Anthony Moriarty has reached his prime. Are you sure? Believe me, Pam, I know. The heightened senses, the chest beating. Not even Emer knows this. But I have felt the compelling urge to rush. <laughs> you have. Be careful, Pamela. With Eddie injured, Anthony is grazing his pasture, tending to his flock. If he finds out he likes it, <laughs> who knows, Pamela? A herd of his own. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Yes. You have to think of a name. Pam. Yes, yes, I'll give it some serious thought. Oh, she's so lifelike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tara's clothes will fit her perfectly when she grows out of them. Oh, Toby's bicycle is still there. Alto, will you sit down beside me? Yeah. I can't tell you it's great to have someone to talk to other than the children. Listen, I thought Willie was staying with you. He is. Oh. <laughs> More coffee, Anto. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, it turned a few heads, you know, <laughs> especially in the off license. <laughs> I'd say it did. It looks like a real thing. <laughs> yes, there are spare batteries in the box. <laughs> What's going on? We hear it crying. Pity I can't take their batteries out. <laughs> Show them, Anto. Anto bought this for the baby. Isn't it great? If you're into that sort of thing. You sure got your new away jersey. Home. Everybody has that. We haven't. Dad will buy it for me when he gets back. Not unless I get something for him. Do you two agree with anything? <laughs> yeah, I don't like him and he doesn't like me. Do you get it? <laughs> Thank God for the lot I want to. Can you imagine all of us in a two-bedroomed flat in De Valera Mansions? I'd be mental in a week. I think you deserve a night out, Molly Keogh. Are you asking, Anthony Moriarty? I'm asking. You're on. <laughs> There's only one stumbling block. We need a babysitter. Oh, is there a problem there? The twins. I think babysitting's a game. Scalp collecting. Oh, <laughs> fair enough, are they? The last one won't come back. She swears blind as three of them. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about Willie? No way. A couple of hours, maybe, but not the whole evening. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> hey, Anton. Oh, how are you, Willie? Molly. Willie. Got your days. <laughs> oh, you're a right soft, you shouldn't have. Yeah, and you're going to the pub tomorrow with Benny and Dolores. God, I must be wearing the right perfume. <laughs> I know I'm babysitting. 
Oh, uh, no, 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 leave that to the Moriarty's. Santa, I promise no, 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 I won't hear another word. Pamela and I will look after the offspring. You just go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> That's brilliant, Dr. Yeah. And I can relax. Yeah, we might be able to sort out our post-nasal compression. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie, you just slipped out. <laughs> ah, Toby's been. The heightened senses. No, the smell. <laughs> Chardonnay and liniment. He was very disappointed you weren't here. I do wish he wouldn't rub that stuff on before he calls. His physio insists. I mean, it's so reminiscent of Toby. It hangs around for ages. He has sensitive muscles. They strain very easily. Oh, yes. <laughs> the ones in his neck seem fine. <laughs> there are times, Anthony, when every marriage needs a Toby. Apart from his own, it seems. <laughs> so... Your little friend pleased to see you? Was she wagging her tail? Well, actually, she was fast asleep. Anthony, you must choose your clearing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not with you. I don't want to sleep at night beside a naked chimp. <laughs> I sincerely hope not. I married a sock manufacturer, Anthony, not a stalker. Well, I think that was a very wise decision. Find <laughs> someone else to plumb your have you been drinking the Chardonnay or the liniment? <laughs> well, Anthony, I need to escape occasionally. Oh, I see what you mean. You and Molly, you know, that girl, she's really in a rut. Did you say what? <laughs> Which reminds me, I am going to make you a mummy. <laughs> oh, Anthony. Anthony, I think we should talk about this. Keep tomorrow night free. Have you taken leave of your senses? Let Molly out for a drink. Babysitting. Babysitting. <laughs> Keeping an eye on the flock. <laughs> Anthony, uh -huh, hmm, yeah. you know, mm. I don't think that Molly is the only one who needs a break. You know, you, you seem a little tense. Oh, yeah, well, I've had a difficult week, you know, sales are down. Yes, well, you shouldn't mm. let insignificant little things annoy you. Yes, I'm sorry about Toby. You know, Anthony, mm -hmm. maybe... Maybe you should go for a drink with Molly, relax, unwind, and I'll, I'll babysit. Are you sure? Oh, yes. I mean, it's not going to take two of us to look after the children, and, and you'll come home to me a new man. Do you know, Pamela, you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> or myself. <laughs> Have a chair, Anto. I'm just finishing off this letter to Eddie. Oh, giving him all the news. He'll enjoy getting that. I don't want to feel neglected. Oh. oh. <laughs> you won't have to open it to get the message. <laughs> Wait till you read the crackers plaster. <laughs> <laughs> Set fire to the bed. <laughs> no, it's not all lovey dovey. Oh. I told him about tonight. Oh, yeah, that's why I came over. Don't tell me. Well, no, there's a slight change of plan. Pamela wants to babysit on her own. Pamela? As in. Pamela! <laughs> I couldn't believe my ears. Maybe she's getting broody. Ah, oh, no, 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 I don't think so. Stranger things have happened. Uh, yeah, Morning, Anto. Oh, hello, Willie. Change of plans tonight, Willie. Anto's coming with us. But I thought you were babysitting. Oh, yes, 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 we still are, but um, Pamela's doing it on her own. Pam, <laughs> on her own? Yeah, well, listen, I better be off. I'm really looking forward to this evening. Be a pet, will you, Anto? I'll pop that in the post. Make sure you don't burn your fingers. <laughs> See you later, Anto. Yeah, if I'm not arrested. <laughs> <laughs> this is never going to work, Willie. They can't stand Pamela. They'll raise hell. Our Pamela's a tough cookie. A prize scalp. I know. We put the fear of God into them. How will we do that? I think I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Park to your bicycle. Well, thank you, Pamela. I abandoned it in the heat of the moment. Are you all right? Oh, that ratatouille is wreaking its revenge. Why ratatouille? Or maybe it was the prawn vindaloo that Emer brought back after evening class. It had a certain pungency. Toby, did you bring the book? Where is he? Oh. Oh. 
useless. I wanted a book on hyperactive children. Well, I'm sorry, Pamela, but Emer doesn't have one. That's the nearest I could find. Breeding gun dogs. <laughs> yes, there's a very good chapter in obedience. What do you suggest I do with it? Well, read it to them, Pam. Children love a bedtime story. No, after I've tired them out retrieving sticks. Now, Pamela, you're getting yourself worked up. Yes, I suppose you're right. I shouldn't allow myself to be intimidated by a couple of ten-year-olds. Ah! <laughs> a surprise visitor. Good morning, Toby. Good morning, Anthony. Toby is not feeling at all well. Do you know, I knew there was something wrong the minute I saw you. You're not drinking. My tummy is a complete mess, Anthony. Yes, well, I have seen better. Yes. Well, I'd better be going before I get gripped by another spasm. I think that's very wise. I feel like a wounded stag in the wrong clearing. <laughs> Bye, Bambi. <laughs> A wounded stag with a tummy upset. <laughs> Let's hope he gets home without leaving his scent. <laughs> Play up and palm and Christmas is cancelled. If he's that good, I'll buy you a new football. No television for a week. And I'll take you to the zoo next weekend. <laughs> no pocket money for a month. And then after that, we can go to the new burger joint. <laughs> and that's it, lads. You're on your final warning. <laughs> That really walked, Willie. Really. Let's just show them who's boss. How are you, Pam? Hello, how are you? Okay. So, uh, are we all set? Sure thing, I thought. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hello, Mrs. Moriarty. <laughs> What's in your bag? Is it for us? Stop yourself, cheeky. Yes, it is. Now, which one of you is Kurt? Oh, good. Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> no. <laughs> What do you say to your Auntie Pamela? That's brilliant. Thanks very much. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. She can teach you a thing or two, Aunt <laughs> Do you know, I think we've left someone out. We don't want to leave anyone behind, do we, Willie? <laughs> <laughs> no. For Tara. Yes. In case she feels neglected. Yeah, uh, waiting the boy will see this. Now, if the twins play up, you phone with Gettigans. Willie comes straight over and give them a lash with me checkbook. That's for sure. Now, the baby is fed and asleep. If she wakes up, change her again and put her back down. Everything you need is in the nursery. OK, change her. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just change her. You have changed a baby before, haven't you? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> no, she doesn't mean for a different size, darling. <laughs> I have, I have a little badge to prove it. <laughs> the transmitter is in the nursery. If she cries, you will hear her on this. <laughs> and you will not have to run up and down the stairs every five minutes. Happy enough? Fine. What do you think, lads? Great, we got ourselves a goalie. So, are we off? Remember what I said, lads? Yeah, ma. No, ma. Now, boys. How? about a bedtime story? No thanks, I'm knackered. It's very tiring being hyperactive. <laughs> Good night for me. Same here. Good night, Auntie Pamela. Oh, Good night, boys. <laughs> okay, girls, what do you want? Uh, the Cardi and Coke, thanks. Cardi and Coke. Vodka and tonic. Vodka and tonic. Mineral water, will you? Ah, oh, come on, Molly, you can do better than that. Water is fine. You don't want your niece waking up with a hangover now, do you? How come? <laughs> if I want the booze, it means I'm bringing alcohol home to the baby. I got you. Like a doggy bag, only in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. God, I'm gonna have to get myself one of them. <laughs> they come in pairs, Willie. <laughs> He's very naive. I think that's lovely. We'll have to keep an eye on these two. She was calling them drop dead gorgeous yesterday. You're kidding. Point is that? Ah, yeah, thanks. OK, can I have two points, please? A Bacardi and Coke, a vodka and tonic, and a mineral water. Now, would the mineral water be sparkling or still, sir? <laughs> I don't know. Well, why don't I give you one of both? Right. Mineral water. That's the sparkling. <laughs> Will you shush? Are you ready? 
Oh, check's complete. At the tree, the phantom baby. Take one, three, two, one, action. <laughs> Seconds. That's where the big profits are nowadays, aren't those seconds? Yeah, but we don't do seconds. Well, so what? Youth perfects call them seconds. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Put a sell-by date on the boxes. A sell-by date on men's socks? <laughs> well, so what? Send your mop down to the market on a Sunday morning with a boot load, she'd clean up, I'm telling you. Oh, he's right there, Anto. That's where I get my socks. But you have to be careful. Sometimes you might get two lefts, or maybe two rights. <laughs> You have to know what you're looking for. Oh, yeah, we could do with you in Brussels. <laughs> when he said Eddie was plastered, I thought he'd missed the play. <laughs> You'd see a big change in the baby. I'd see a big change if I don't leave soon. Ray, another one, girl. If I have one more of those, Willie, really, I'd create a water shortage. Anyway, it's near the baby's feeding time. Oh, yeah. oh, I know what you're talking about. My stomach is beginning to rumble. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Everything all right, Pamela? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, Did the twins go to bed for you? Oh, yes, they were as good as gold. Not a peep out of them all night. I told you all you wanted was a good talk, and they. <laughs> Did the baby wake up? Well, no, and no. Yeah, oh no. I'm not going with you. Yes, well, I think maybe it was crying in its sleep. Oh, perhaps she was having bad dreams. She wasn't eating cheese by any chance, was she? Don't be ridiculous, Anthony. Well, no, 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 it has that effect on me. I mean, I remember once having a nightmare. I was in the middle oh, of the ocean. Up and I was popping up and down. Thanks very much. Pam, was very good and to was, get out tonight. Yes, Would you like a cup of coffee? No, I don't think so, Molly. I'm actually extremely tired. <laughs> Bad for me, I think. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Night, Anto. Bye, Bye Molly. Night, Pam. Night, Pam. And thanks a million. Thank you. I don't know what Pam was going on about. Tara hasn't moved all night. Maybe she hasn't moved, but somebody has. <laughs> Every few minutes. That's very curious. Mm. It was quite uncanny, really. You know, the instant I sat down, she'd start crying again. I was up and down those stairs all night. Oh, a nightmare, darling. You must be exhausted. Mm, yeah, but fortunately, the twins were as good as gold. They just never stirred. Well, you'll feel better after a good night's sleep. Oh, I don't know. The minute I close my eyes, I'm going to hear her crying. I think you deserve a little treat, darling. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. How about breakfast in bed? How about lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, Anthony, you know, babysitting one another is quite enough for us. Oh, I thought I'd lost that job to Toby. <laughs> no, nah, you're being silly. Come here. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Anthony, you shouldn't worry about Toby. Oh, that's good. No. He's just a little stag. And I've got a great deer. <laughs> dear old inner city Dublin, the town I love so dear. But we're after winning two million quid, so we're off to Belvedere. Yes, it's goodbye. To good old Arthur J, and it's bold you're to find Chablis. I am leaving my heart at the Hapney Bridge. Now it's Belvedere for me. Yes, it's goodbye to good old Arthur J, and it's bold you're to find Chablis. I am leaving my heart at the Hapney Bridge. Now it's Belvedere for me. <laughs>